David Cameron talking to Laura Kunzberg and we're here in Broughty Ferry with an audience mainly of Yes supporters but also no campaigners too. Um, first of all, you heard David Cameron say there that this is his 11th foray into this debate in Scotland. It felt to some people like the cavalry was coming but surely he's got every right as the Prime Minister to come and make his case in Scotland. Yep. Yes, the, the, the yellow t-shirt, yes. Honestly, I think, first of all, those who are going to vote no, I think before you tick that box or cross that box, you need to think, why is this referendum starting in the first place? And a big part of that is, no one asked for this. I mean, no one in Scotland voted for David Cameron, yet he is bringing in all these policies. You said earlier about the bedroom tax. Uh, I think that's a big part of it. That's why we were trying to break away. Okay, just uh, over here on the no side, um, you heard David Cameron say there that a no vote is a vote for change. Do you think that uh, uh, you would have had more success than you perhaps, perhaps had uh, on the doorsteps if you'd known that there was going to be so much change offered in the event of a no vote? Lady in the front. Absolutely. Um, I believe the, the more powers, excellent. I've listened to the debate. I listened to the experts. But would you like to have, them to have come up with an idea of more change for Scotland earlier on? Yeah, I dare say it should have came sooner, but better late than never. OK, well, let's look now at the day's event with our political editor, Allegra Stratton. Event with our political editor, Allegra Stratton.